up with you with your question, Steve. Yeah, so, you know, Steve, it's really important to look at where we're going. It's not just a moment in time, but where has this strategy of voting for the lesser evil taken us? All the reasons you were told to vote for the lesser evil over the last 10 or 12 years, because you didn't want the expanding wars, you didn't want the meltdown of the climate, you didn't want the offshoring of our jobs, or the attack on immigrants, or the massive bailouts for Wall Street. That's actually what we've gotten, you know, uh, by the droves, because we as public interest allowed ourselves to be silent and voted for the lesser evil. But the lesser evil doesn't solve the problem. Uh, the Obama administration, even with two houses of Congress, actually did all of these things that were, you know, as bad as George Bush in the case of climate, you know, blew the roof off of fossil fuel emissions. Yeah, all of the above gave us some renewable energy, but it completely uh, amplified and intensified fossil fuel production, which has been incredibly uh, destructive to the climate. Uh, the wars have gotten bigger. We're now bombing seven countries. You know, it's really important to look at not just the rhetoric here, but actually look at the track record. And the reality is the, the lesser evil and the greater evil is a race to the bottom. And even Donald Trump and the right-wing extremism grows out of the policies of the Clintons, in particular NAFTA, which sent our jobs overseas, and Wall Street deregulation, which blew nine million jobs uh, up into smoke. So that's what's creating this right-wing extremism. A vote for Hillary Clinton isn't going to fix it. And one last point, which is this, that it's now Hillary Clinton who wants to start an air war uh, with Russia over Syria by calling for a no-fly zone. We have 2,000 nuclear missiles on hair trigger alert, and Mikhail Gorbachev, the uh, former premier of the Soviet Union, is saying we are closer to a nuclear war than we have ever been. Under Hillary Clinton, we could slide into nuclear war very quickly from her declared policy in Syria. So I won't sleep well at night if Donald Trump is elected, but I sure won't sleep well at night if Hillary Clinton is elected. Fortunately, we have another choice other than these two candidates who are both promoting lethal policies. But on the issue of war and nuclear weapons and the potential for nuclear war, it's actually Hillary's policies which are much scarier than Donald Trump, who does not want to go to war with Russia. He wants to seek modes of, uh, of working together, which is the route that we need to follow.